there are four main classifications of hedge fund strategies. Event-driven strategies, relative value strategies, macro strategies, and equity hedge strategies. Firstly, event-driven strategies seek to profit from short-term events typically based on a corporate restructuring or corporate acquisition. Hedge funds typically profit from such opportunities through long and short positions in common and preferred stocks as well as debt securities and options of the companies involved. Event-driven strategies can be further subcategorized as follows. Merger arbitrage is the strategy of selling short the shares of an acquiring firm and buying the shares of the firm being acquired. The hedge fund manager seeks to profit from the deal spread, which reflects the uncertainty of the deal closing. It could also be that the manager expects the acquirer to ultimately overpay for the acquisition and its share price suffer consequently. The primary risk in this strategy is that the announced acquisition does not occur. Distressed restructuring is the strategy of buying the securities of firms in financial distress or close to bankruptcy. If the hedge fund manager feels that the distressed firm is likely to be successfully restructured, he buys the company's shares, hoping that the share price will recover. A more complicated approach is to long the senior debt and short junior debt, or buy preferred stock and short common stock. This is done in expectation that the prospects of the company will worsen, resulting in a widening spread between the riskier and less risky securities of the company. Activist shareholder is the strategy of influencing a company's policies with the goal of increasing the company's value. If the hedge fund manager finds a promising firm, he'll buy sufficient shares that he has influence on the firm's policies. Don't confuse this with private equity, which we'll learn about later. These hedge funds are distinct because they operate in the public equity market. Special situations is the strategy of investing in the securities of firms that are currently engaged in restructuring activities, like issuing or repurchasing securities, spinning off divisions, selling assets, or distributing capital. Relative value strategies involve buying a security and selling shorter related security with the goal of profiting when a perceived pricing discrepancy between the two is resolved. So, essentially, the strategy is to exploit pricing discrepancies between two or more related securities. Examples include fixed income convertible arbitrage, which is to exploit pricing discrepancies between convertible bonds and the common stock of the issuing companies. Fixed income asset backed to exploit pricing discrepancies among various mortgage backed securities or asset backed securities. Fixed income general to exploit pricing discrepancies between fixed income securities of various types. Volatility to exploit pricing discrepancies arising from differences between returns volatility implied by options prices and manager expectations of future volatility and multi-strategy, which is to exploit pricing discrepancies among securities across asset classes and markets other than those already mentioned. This strategy is not of any particular style, but simply looks for exploitation opportunities wherever they might exist. Macro strategies are based on global economic trends and events. The hedge fund manager may take long or short positions in equities, fixed income, currencies, or commodities based on his view on overall market direction for each of these asset classes. Such strategies are said to have a top-down approach as the investment decisions are made at the macro level. Conversely, equity hedge strategies employ a bottom-up approach where investment decisions are made according to the views on individual securities. Hedge fund managers apply their views on individual companies through long or short positions in publicly traded equities and equity derivative securities. Examples of equity hedge strategies include market neutral, where technical or fundamental analysis is used to select undervalued equities to be held long and to select overvalued equities to be sold short. The long and short positions are taken in approximately equal amounts to profit from their relative price movements with minimal exposure to market risk. 
Quantitative directional is the use of just technical analysis to long equity securities believed to be undervalued and short securities believed to be overvalued. Unlike market neutral, the managers do not strive to make the long and short positions equal. Fundamental growth is the use of fundamental analysis to find high growth companies. Hedge fund managers seek to identify and buy equities of companies that are expected to sustain relatively high rates of capital appreciation. Quite similarly, fundamental value is also the use of fundamental analysis to buy equity shares. But instead of focusing on high growth companies, fundamental value managers look out for undervalued companies to invest in. Conversely, short bias is the strategy of using technical or fundamental analysis to take predominantly short positions in overvalued equities. The hedge fund may possibly enter into smaller, long positions, but the market exposure is overall negative. And that concludes the four major categories of hedge fund strategies. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At Prep Nuggets, let us do the hard work for you.